Today, I wanted to bring you guys a bit of a community PSA, which I am then going to tie into a discussion on a personal passion of mine. That discussion is going to be all about in-game video game photography. That also happens to be the community PSA, because I still see a lot of people taking screenshots of their beautiful personalized javelins in that dingy gray forge. And I still see a lot of people asking me how I took this screenshot of my Ranger, or this screenshot of my Colossus, or this screenshot of my Interceptor. People don't know about Anthem's little hidden pseudo photo mode. So let's get started with that. Make your way out into the world of Bastion. Preferably in free place, so you're not going to slow anyone down or be interrupted while you're trying to take your beautiful photos. Stand perfectly still and don't touch your controller for about half a minute or a minute. At which point you'll notice the game will automatically activate a cinematic javelin focus mode. You're going to get a blurred background, nice little depth of field filter happening there. And you can actually then rotate the camera around your javelin or let it rotate on its own. You can even shift your javelin around a little bit without kicking it out of this photo mode. Now you can take beautiful, stunning screenshots of your personalized javelins. This is the only way you should ever share your javelin creations with anyone else. Just don't use the forge anymore, man. It's not making your javelin look better. And in a lot of cases, it's probably making your javelin look ugly when it's actually quite beautiful. I mean, come on, nerf color combination. You know that's going to look good when it's sitting alongside of a waterfall somewhere in Bastion. And that's actually where this little photo mode can be a lot of fun. Find new places to pose your javelins. Set them next to a waterfall in a dark, gloomy, fog-filled cave somewhere. Just have fun, you know, take a look at how lighting affects the appearance of the different materials you might use on your javelins and snap screenshots of your favorites all over the world of Bastion. It's a great way to share not just your javelin creations, but, you know, the many little bits and pieces that make up the world of Bastion as they showcase your javelin. Now, let's say you want to get a little bit more spicy and actually take environmental shots of the world of Bastion, like the ones I'm showing here for you guys. Again, there's no dedicated hardcore photo mode in Anthem like there are in so many other games today, but you can still do it with a little bit of an old school third person photo mode hack. It's not really a hack, it's more of a trick. So what you wanna do is first, disable all of the elements of your HUD. Just get rid of all of them so nothing is going to clutter up your beautiful screenshots. Now go find yourself a nice flat piece of wall, just to practice to start. You're gonna push your character model up against the wall and then rotate the camera so it is now essentially flush with the wall looking out into the world of Bastion. This is actually going to allow you to hide your player model. You'll no longer see your javelin anymore. Again, you have to make sure you're at the right angle, and if you over-rotate, your javelin will come into uh, line of sight again. But you can do this anywhere in the world where there is a flat enough wall that is also high enough, and then use it as a way to turn your perspective into a camera lens. You can then take photos of the world of Bastion. It does limit you, and you've got to get creative with it, but you can still take a lot of really beautiful screenshots. Again, like all of the ones I'm showing here for you. You know, whatever catches your eye, head on out, put yourself up against the wall, and take some of your very first in-game photos. If you've never done something like this, even with the photo mode, I'm encouraging you to give it a shot for the very first time. And here's why. Here's why I've fallen in love with taking photos in video games. It's not just so I can show them to you guys and post them on Twitter and be like, look how good I am at this. It has nothing to do with that. I think there's probably people who take much better photos than I do, but I enjoy it on a personal level. And I like to highlight the things that catch my eye on a personal level Simultaneously, I'm getting the opportunity to experience these beautiful handcrafted worlds. All of these gorgeous locations that have been built by potentially hundreds or thousands of developers over many, 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 many hours, I get to appreciate them on a whole new level. And I think for me, that's a big part of my personal enjoyment, not just for big AAA games, but even for smaller indie games. You know, it doesn't have to be this crazy pixel power driven experience that's got this insanely high poly count, you can find beautiful screenshots in any game, no matter how simple or complex or old school they are. And it's just a nice way to enjoy an additional layer of video games that typically gets put on the back burner. I mean, you just kind of fly through these worlds. I think a lot of people spend so much time just shooting things, you know, like The Division 2. I've taken so many screenshots in the first game. I can't wait to take screenshots in the second game. It's just these really incredible detailed pieces of world design but you don't really get a chance to experience them or notice the details in them because you're just shooting bad guys all the time. That's probably the biggest downfall of, you know, like really 
intensive, you know, shooter focused games is that we don't get to see all of the beautiful details that go into the environments that we're shooting things in because we're too busy shooting things in. So this is a great way to just slow things down. And for me, it's led to a much deeper appreciation for open world design, environmental design, even in linear experiences. And I just hope that maybe if a few of you give that a shot, you might find that same additional layer of appreciation. It's not for everyone. And it's not going to make a bad game or a game that you don't enjoy great all of a sudden. But I've played some games that I don't really care about from a gameplay perspective just because I liked taking screenshots in their open worlds. <laughs> like, it can really be this fun little way to indulge in a virtual world that you may have not otherwise indulged in. And while taking photos in the real world is also a wonderful, beautiful thing that I encourage you to do whenever you can, but you're not really going to get that same ability to explore vast worlds in mere minutes or hours that you get in video games. So they're two very different experiences and I always encourage people to to mess around and start with video games because I do think in some ways that might even influence you or uh, ignite a passion for real life photography. There's a lot of good that can come from this sort of thing. It's why I love it so much and it's why I always try and encourage people to give it a shot whenever they have a chance. So if you decide to take some photos out in the open world of Bastion today in Anthem, or in any game for that matter, whether it has a photo mode or not, and you'd like to share them with me, I really, really encourage you to do that. Hit me up over on Twitter at Tony underscore Mo and share some of your personal environmental screenshots of the wide world of Bastion or other worlds that you might be spending time in today in video game form. That's gonna do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.